It's pretty common to scan photos and then realize later that you didn't get all the dust off. And this photo here is kind of a more extreme example, I guess, where I, I just didn't try to get the dust off. Um, and, you know, maybe you want to rescan these photos, but if, if the negatives aren't handy or whatever, you might want to just fix it in Photoshop. And it's so easy. I'm going to show you how. So if you look at this big piece of dust here, oh, sorry. So in Photoshop, you pick the lasso tool on the left here. You see this? Um, you can usually actually press the L key and that'll be a shortcut and you can use, if you know Photoshop, you can, what you want to do is you want to select the dust and you can use any tool. You don't have to be that precise as you'll see later too. Um, so I've selected this piece of dust. Now, if you look at the bottom of the peanut here, there's another piece of dust. I'm going to select that. You can select two. If you want to select both, you hold down the shift key when you select the second one and that will just add, you know, instead of erasing the first selection. Now, if you look right at the bottom, here's another um, piece of dust. So I'm gonna hold the shift key and just, you know, move the mouse around. And I do not have to be precise. Um, this is not sort of precise cloning stuff. You will see how well this works, so it's amazing. Uh, and then here, there's another piece. I'm gonna do this. Um, there's a lot of dust all over this image. I'm gonna just grab a few pieces here, if you can see what I'm doing. Um, but I'm gonna leave some as well. Now, it's amazing how well this works. You go to the edit tool. You don't have to be very precise. Uh, you don't have to spend a long time. You just go to edit, fill. Now, if this is the first time you've done this, um, this will probably say foreground color or something in the contents, but you want to change it to content aware. What you're doing is a content aware fill. And that's it. You just click OK. Photoshop is going to do all sorts of amazing calculations. Now, look, this big piece of dust here is gone. The spot here gone, all these spots gone. I'm gonna zoom in on where that first one I selected was. And if you can see, it's pretty impossible to tell the difference. Okay, so we fixed this up a bit. There's a million other pieces of dust. Uh, this might be one where you wanna actually go fish out the negative and uh, spray it with compressed air and everything and scan it. But now we got a picture of a quilt here. Um, again, there's uh, some dusty spots, not quite as bad. But here, I'm gonna select, if you can see where I'm selecting here, and there's sort of a thing. I'm going to select this other spot here. That's close to it. There's another spot in between them. Oops, kind of made a mess of that. There we go. Uh, and then down here, I think there's a little bit of dust here. Oh, here's one. Here's a very, uh, one that almost got away from me. I'm going to select this as well. And oops, I kind of made a mess of that. There we go. So I've got these, um, things here selected. And again, I'm going to go to the edit menu. I'm going to go to fill. I'm going to go to, I'm going to make sure it says content aware and that's it. Just click okay. Give it a second. It does take a little time to do these, especially if you have more selected. So let's quickly go up to where I had done this. Look at that. It retains, if you see, it retains everything that should be there. You don't sort of, it doesn't look weird or, you know, like, look at that. That looks fine. And you can see the spot, you know, so it's really amazing how well it works. This one is, if you look really, really closely, it's a little off. So maybe that one I could redo, but it's, that's only when you have it zoomed in, you know, 400% of the actual pixel value. Okay, so let's go to these apartments. And um, if you see here, I've got a couple little pieces of dust. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to make sure I get the whole thing. One thing you want to uh, make sure is that you don't leave a little bit of the dust there because then it might try to sort of, you might think that part of the dust is okay and it might copy that into the spot you're trying to fix. So, um, oh, there's some, wow, there's some real dust down here. I had, didn't even notice this before. Uh, all right, so I picked the lasso. Get this, get this really fast. Get this, uh, get this, get this. Um, and you know what, there's some here, I'm just gonna do a quick go. So keep your eyes on, oh, there's another one here. <laughs> and, and if you see here too, no, notice this part here, I've actually selected way too much. So we'll see what happens there, but usually Photoshop will do a good job, but I should really probably not select quite that much. Okay, so let's do the fill, content aware, and let's see what happens. Take It does take a minute if you're doing a lot of spots, and I have a pretty fast computer. So here it's actually interesting, what it did was, it moved this dot that's supposed to be in the picture over a little bit, but it still looks fine, but probably not something you really um, 
you, you know, I, I could have selected that much better, but it is amazing. And this is the spot that I think is really great. So of course, this spot is fine. It's very easy, obviously, right? You could have cloned that no problem using any tool. But look at this. I over selected. I select. Well, I didn't over select. Actually, the hair was or dust or whatever was right through here, and I select this whole thing. You would, if you wanted to, if you wanted to clone that, you'd have to get a piece of this um, window frame and kind of copy it over, and then you have to get a piece of this. This works so well. So it's really amazing how well it works. Um, here we have. Hold on a second here. Here we have a piece of dust up here that I had already selected. So I'm going to select it again, and I'm going to select a couple. Oops, that was did a bad job of that. Um, I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to select all these things in the sky. And I haven't actually tried selecting all of these before. And I'm, look how much I've selected. It's probably I could be so much more precise, but I'm just going to do this and click Content to Wear and hope that they all work out because I haven't tried this before I made the video or anything. And yeah, they all look fine. This sky looks completely fine now. Um, one thing I'm, I am going to show you is you do want, how Photoshop does it is it cal it looks at what you've selected and then it looks at kind of everything around it and it kind of decides what to stick in based on that. So one thing I did before is let's say you want to crop these people out. Um, you just sort of get a feel for it. If you, I'm going to do the fill here. Oh no, that worked fine. <laughs> Well, yep, that worked incredibly fine. Um, yeah, so never mind. I, I must have done it differently the other way. But to, just to show you, too, how if you sort of worry, well, you're, you know, you, you I want to show that you don't have to be scared of using this. It's really hard to mess up. It's just an incredibly powerful tool. And, you know, especially for little pieces of dust, you almost cannot mess up. It's so amazing. So I'm going to show you something I tried before where I selected... I spent about two minutes, actually didn't select the, I, this is another copy that doesn't have the dust taken out. Um, but I, I selected basically every person on this beach, except for these two surfers. And it took me about two minutes. I didn't get insanely, you know, I wasn't incredibly careful. If you look here, you know, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of room around them, which I think is fine. I think that might even help, but I think I've got every single person here selected. And let's just see, I just want to show you how how well it works. Content aware. So this will take a, a minute here because, uh, maybe not a full minute, but uh, Photoshop does have a lot of calculating to do. And like I say, I have a pretty fast computer. It's not insanely fast, a couple years old, but it was fast when I got it. And look at that. So, boom, it's, there are some problems with this because it was such an extreme case, right? Like this, I'm not sure what happened here, but I'm going to, oops, where content aware fill that and it looks pretty good and especially when you're zoomed out that looks fine um this is a real mess here um i'm not sure if this will fix it let's give it a shot yeah that worked out <laughs> that worked pretty well um there's another spot here that this is a bit of a mess so basically i think this is where somebody was standing and photoshop tried to fill it with sand but they missed or <laughs> photoshop misjudged that that worked fine what else do we have here? Oh, there's a huge spot here. This is a problem. It looks like a big inlet or something. This might be harder to fix. I'm also going to actually select this, get a little bit of this yellow, whatever that was. These might be a little harder to fix. Anyway, this is all completely... Oh, did that do it? That was it? That was all it did? Oh, no, here we go. Eh, yeah, no, it didn't do much. Whatever. You can just crop that out. <laughs> Look at that. I use a crop tool. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, when all else fails. Um, so I just want to show that if you don't want to take your negatives out of the sleeves or you don't have compressed air handy or something like that, maybe you just want to post a photo quickly on Instagram or something. Um, that is how you can do it incredibly easy in Photoshop. If you have Photoshop, uh, I don't know if any other tools do this. I don't know of any. Um, I think in Lightroom, people use the healing brush. I don't even know how that works. I just use this. Um, so, okay. So hopefully that was handy. Um, yep. Enjoy.